What I have here is two Erlenmeyer flasks. One has lead nitrate solids in the bottom, and one has potassium iodide solid or salts on the bottom. I'm going to make solution, an aqueous solution with these. So I'm going to make aqueous lead nitrate here. Mixing, you can see that it makes a solution. And it does dissolve. It is definitely aqueous. And same thing with the potassium iodide. Hopefully it'll make as much of a mess. It's the Ki, adding some water. Also making an aqueous solution. And both of these solutions, or both of these salts, are soluble in water. So they stir. And I have two aqueous solutions. You can see through them. And you can see the solids are now been dissolved. Okay. Now, interesting enough, lead nitrate is made of the nitrate ion. The nitrate ion is NO3 minus 1. And anything combined with a nitrate ion is soluble because the nitrate ion, NO3, is four atoms stretch, and you have a negative, um, a negative one stretched over four atoms. So its charge density is very low. So it doesn't attract other ions in a crystal as strong as uh, others. So its lattice energy is lower, and it's easy for water to pull apart the ion and have those molecule ion attractions that make this a possibility. Same thing with Ki. You have potassium iodide and you have uh, uh, you have Ki ions that are free in this aqueous solution and the K is plus one. The plus one ions are a big ion and they are spectators for most types of reactions because they have a plus one over a large area as well. And the iodine, like most halides, are also soluble because they're a negative one and they're also a big ion. There's ex some exceptions with those and we're going to see that one right here. So I'm going to pour, pour these together and take two aqueous solutions and see if a precipitate results. Now precipitate is when a solid comes out of the solution because we're going to do a double replacement or something called a metathesis reaction. Lead plus two from this beaker is going to attract and hook up with the iodine ion to make PBI2 or lead 2 iodide and that is going to create a precipitate because the lead iodine prefers itself more or attracts itself more than water. So let's do that. Here we go. Very brilliant reaction. And you see that is pretty, very pretty yellow precipitates. A lot of yellow leads, lead paints, have been known to be yellow, and also a problem. So there you go, and there's your precipitate. And it's a precipitate because I know that I cannot see through the solution anymore. And if we let this settle for a while, we'll get something like this. This is a reaction I did a, about an hour or so ago, and you can see here that the clear solution is the, is the potassium nitrate ions, so the potassium and nitrate ions, and the solids are at the bottom, that's settled at the, the bottom. All right? So there is your precipitating reaction.